Hey everyone, it's Miss Riegler, and today you guys are going to play Jungle Jeopardy, an ecosystem game. This game is going to combine ecosystems, food webs, and the rainforest biome into one game. The goal will be for you guys to create a balanced rainforest ecosystem where each animal has enough food to survive for 12 days. But let's quickly review what a food web is. This is an example of a food web in a rainforest biome. A food chain is a simple way to describe how energy flows in an ecosystem, tracking usually just one organism at a time. So from here, a coconut tree receives energy from the sun, a grasshopper then consumes part of the coconut tree for energy, then a frog consumes the grasshopper and a jaguar eats the frog. That is a very simple food chain. Whereas this food web is more complex and it shows how all of the different organisms are connected. Producers down here are plants. This is because they produce energy for the entire ecosystem. They do this by absorbing sunlight through photosynthesis. They also need nutrients from the soil and water, but plants, these producers, support every other form of life in this food web. After producers comes primary producers, primary consumers, pardon me, and consumers are animals, and all animals are consumers. These primary consumers only eat, though, the producers. They don't eat any other animals, just producers. From here, you get secondary consumers, animals that consume other animals. And um, at the top, the tertiary consumers. These are consumers that are kind of what we also consider top predators. So looking at this food web can get pretty confusing, but it's important to understand that all of these organisms have to exist in a balance. And this is what you're going to do, try to do in the Jungle Jeopardy. So from the quiz, you will click on the Jungle Jeopardy game. Jungle Jeopardy, an ecosystem game. Log in to save points or click play to start. I'm just going to click play and go over the directions with you guys. Hello, Earthling. Welcome to the jungles of Borneo. It's the first day in your jungle. Here's your mission. Make sure the animals have enough to eat for 12 days. Some eat plants, some eat other animals. To play, drag five plants or animals from these bubbles each day. Click these lights to find out more about each one. Move around with these arrows. Start when you're ready. All right, I'm ready to start. What's important? Good morning. Keep building your ecosystem. Add five plants or animals each day. If you have lots of different ones, you'll get lots of points. So I only can add five different bubbles a day. And I've played this before. And I kept forgetting this really important kind of idea about, hey, well, what consumes what in this, in this ecosystem? So if you click on these Capri bubbles, tree. it tells you how many bubbles you have left, the name of it, and also what it consumes. So right, this is a, uh, these are consume, uh, producers. They don't, they don't consume anything. Rambutan right? tree. Strangler fig tree, pitcher plant, ant. Ooh, so I have an ant, but an ant ha eats these two plants. Walking stick. So the walking stick would need these three plants to survive. Rhinoceros hornbill. A rhinoceros hornbill will need this plant and this insect. Flying dragon lizard. Ah, so the flying dragon lizard only eats ants. So if I add this to this ecosystem, I'm going to need enough ants to sustain it. Barking deer. Ooh, the barking deer. Large tree shrew. Ooh, so the barking deer. Barking deer. Actually eats a tree shrew. Hmm. I didn't know that. Large tree shrew. What it eats? Bearded pig. Sunda clouded leopard. Crested hawk eagle. Reticulated python. Awesome. So as I get started, I'm obviously going to start with producers because I know that they um, produce energy for the entire ecosystem. So I'm going to put... Um, and, and... Only one turn left. Here's how your ecosystem is doing. Here's who's healthy. Awesome. So these plants are all healthy. So let me try now to add in the next day. I'm, it's a brand new day. I'm going to add in, let's see, I'm going to add one of these in, drag it up. I'm going to add some ants. 
and a walking stick. Let's see if I only one it. turn left. Ooh, maybe I'll try this lizard, which I know eats ants. Let's see. Here's how your ecosystem is doing. Uh oh, these are all gone. Uh oh, so my ants are gone. These are not so healthy. So that means they those... need food. Oh, all right, let me remind Here's myself. Here's who's healthy. They're healthy. It's a new day. Flying dragon lizard. So I actually need to add more ants because the red means it's unhealthy. So I'm going to add more ants. I'm going to add some more plants. And let's add this and see what happens. Here's how your ecosystem is doing. Uh-oh. These are all gone. These are not so healthy. They need food. Here's who's healthy. All right. So I'm going to keep... It's the next day. I'm going to keep playing this game, trying to create a balance. Obviously, red means it's unhealthy. Green means it's healthy. And if you need a reminders about, you know, what do I need to add to make this more balanced, click on those Flying bubbles. dragon lizard. It will tell you what they need. So this one clearly needs Ant. more um, ants. Um, when you're done with the game, you're going to come keep track of your score, and you're going to come back here and answer a few questions. I hope you guys enjoy Jungle Jeopardy and um, playing an ecosystem game.